Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Indoor Mania, my indoor park here in Parkitect. Uh, just before I go on with today's uh, part of the build, um, I did put back along a message out there about some tutorials and things. I've read all your comments, I've had some ideas from you guys. I'm just trying to figure out at the moment how I can make a video to um, kind of cover some of the topics that you guys are interested in. Uh, some of them are a bit more complicated and so I have to think about it a little bit, but I haven't forgotten so I am going to get around to doing that soon. Also, um, this park I'm doing right now, uh, it's not complete yet and I'm actually kind of waiting until my new laptop arrives uh, uh, so I can actually fully um, experience this kind of park uh, with all its detail without the lag, hopefully. Um, so I'm waiting for that computer to come so I can actually um, carry on building this and finish it off. Uh, I've got some really cool ideas coming up with this build, so stick around for future episodes. Today I'm actually um, going in there, I'm going to build a moon lander for the Mission Moon roller coaster, which we have in front of us right now. Uh, this is like a miniature um, intermoon launch coaster. So right now I'm just gonna go in and do the moon lander. Um, I wanted to have like some sort of prop or scenery in the ride, and so I thought this was like a really cool spot to put it in as well, seeing as it's opposite to like a, um, an area where people gather uh, to go up onto the platforms over the bridge, over the ride. Uh, for the moon lander, I might just use shapes and some um, different beams. And I'm just throwing all those pieces together and trying to get some sort of a shape that kind of uh, represents the, uh, the Apollo missions moon landing. Uh, so I'm using a picture that I found on Google just for reference, just kind of throwing some shapes in there and uh, just seeing what I come up with. I think the final product looks really cool. Um, it honestly is just random shapes put together and uh, I just keep adding and adding and adding until I'm just kind of happy with what I've got. So um, that's me doing that right now. And then later on in this video, I'll move on from the Mission Moon Coaster and go and start some work on theming with the Mars uh, Hyper Coaster that I did back along in a few episodes ago. I have a Mac uh, Mega Hyper Coaster in this park as well. So that's really, really fun. Don't forget also, guys, that uh, I'm actually doing a competition right now, which is the Coaster B uh, Diorama competition. The uh, video is on my channel, go and have a look, there's a link there to the Steam Workshop where you can download the map for the competition. Um, I had some questions about the competition and it's really straightforward, all you have to do is just completely do whatever you like to the map um, that's provided without changing the coaster. So it comes with a B&M launched flying, uh, sorry, a B&M launched wing coaster and um, all you have to do is kind of theme that coaster make a little area of a theme park or you know do whatever you like to the land as long as you don't change the coaster you're all good you can add other rides in uh, as long as kind of the focus is on that coaster i've actually gone ahead and done mine although i'm not going to take part in the competition because it is my own competition um but i've done like a my what i would have done so hopefully i get to share that with you at some point as well but you have until the 30th of this month to complete that um kind of map that i've put out there and you can send it to me via uh, Reddit or you can come on Discord, my Discord channel, my link is down below. Um, you can find me on there, you can send me your park there and I will go through all of them, make a video showing off uh, my favourite ones and I'll try and get every, at least everybody's entry if there's enough of course. I don't even know if people are really going to enter at this point but if there are quite a lot I'll try and get everyone's into the video um, and then I will go ahead and pick my favourite. It's just for fun, there is no prize or anything like that, it's just for you know, we're all stuck at home uh, during this, this random time of our lives and I uh, just wanted to do something fun for us and then if this one is successful, I have ideas for another one as well so I can carry on doing maybe a few of the diorama challenges, so that would be really, really fun. So I'm just doing the, uh, just, just filling up the queue line there for the launch coaster and uh, kind of making sure that is all nice and tidy and complete and now I'm going on and doing the station for the hyper coaster. Now, I wanted this station to be really like kind of modern. I, I kind of typed in like Mars future living or something like that into Google and I got some sort of very futuristic style kind of structures and things. I took inspiration from those and actually came together with the station. Obviously this park is indoors so the rides don't really need like a closed roof station. I've said that about every station I've built and every station I've done in this park has been a closed station. This one is kind of closed um, it's an open station, it just kind of has like a canopy on it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But it's really cool, it's really actually like a really different station to what I'm normally used to doing. Um, 
and uh, so it comes it comes together really well. I kind of want this kind of part of this space area of this park to be the Mars area. And I don't want to like divide up the area too much um, and, and make say this is Moon, this is Mars. I just kind of wanted it to bleed slightly into like a Mars theme. I don't want it to be too sudden um, because the, obviously there is the Saturn V launch tower there as well, which is themed to the Apollo missions. And that doesn't really fit in the Mars area, but it is over in that side of the of this area. So I've just kind of loosely done like a Mars theme around the coaster. Again, I haven't gone in with like a too um, fantasy styled theming. I've gone more realistic and how a real theme park would maybe theme uh, something that's to do with space or something. So that's kind of the idea of the whole area. So yeah, the station now, I'm just looking up some pictures, like I said, and I'm just kind of putting some pieces together um, so that it looks kind of in like a futuristic style, put some vending machines there, that kind of thing. Um, I love sci-fi films and stuff, so doing this kind of stuff I really enjoy doing. Although actually I'm not, it's not really my strong suit, I wouldn't say. Um, there's some other park tech builders out there that are so epic, really good at building um, sci-fi stuff. One of them is Astrotron. His sci-fi stuff is really cool. He just really knows how to put pieces together and make it look futuristic. Um, I do enjoy doing it. I wouldn't say it's my strong point, like I said. Uh, definitely my strong point is building roller coasters, the layouts, and um, kind of dressing up those coasters to resemble what they would be equivalent to in the real world. Uh, so for instance, this Mac hyper coaster, I've tried to get it as close to as being like a real Mac as I can. And that's kind of where my strengths lie in this game. Also with kind of park layouts, I think I'm quite good at that as well. But there's definitely things that I, I'm weak at. One of them is also foliage. Um, Max Freak, if you know him, uh, his foliage work is insane. He actually made the foliage mod set. But um, his foliage work in the game is so cool. Like if you look at screenshots from him over on like uh, Discord or Reddit, um, yeah, really cool. I haven't got the skill to do as good foliage work as he does, as well as my sci-fi building is not as good as Astrotron. So there's definitely some really great builders out there. Go and look up their stuff, go follow them on their YouTube channels. Um, go look on Reddit or on Discord if you need inspiration and stuff. Because, I mean, I take inspiration still from other builders. I think we all do. And I think it's a really great part of this game and of being a part of like a theme park game community. I think we all kind of feed off each other and share our ideas. And it kind of gives me an idea to do something as well. And I think that's really cool, a really cool part of the game. So, yeah, it's really, really cool. Speaking of kind of like coaster layouts and stuff and realism, uh, I said in the last episode, and I'm really uh, thinking about it, and I think I will do it. Uh, when my new laptop arrives, I'm gonna probably get No Limits 2 and learn how to work that simulator game. Um, I'm really excited actually to try and figure it out and see if I can make some really cool, realistic roller coasters, because that's what I really love to do. And uh, it would be cool actually to maybe try and create some of the roller coasters that I've made in Parkitect in No Limits, but making them obviously realistic and completely off the grid and flow better and smoothing and all that stuff. So that might be quite interesting to do. Um, can't wait to do that. I would have done it already, but obviously my computer at the moment really doesn't handle Parkitect very well. Um, I don't really have the right spec for the game, which is not very good right now. And when my new computer comes, the spec is more than uh, good enough to handle Parkitect, and it also is good enough to and no limits so I'm probably going to go ahead and start doing some videos on that as well and then change my channel up a little bit and take it more away from just Parkitect and have maybe some no limits in there as well so that'd be really cool really interesting really excited to do that now I'm just doing like an entrance sign for the Mars ride and um, I'm trying to do something futuristic and so I'm making this kind of like slanted wall thing with this big beam and uh, I'm gonna put like the Mars text on there now. I really love the new text feature from the DLC, it makes my life so much easier. I used to use the letters mod and obviously you have to do each individual letter at a time, whereas that text feature you can just write the whole word out, it's so good, I love that. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to show you today, that's all I have time for. I've left a few screenshots at the end of this video just to give you more of a closer look at uh, give you a closer look at what I did today in the episode. If you have enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, 
leave me a, a comment down below. And don't forget to join my competition if you want to be a part of it. Uh, you have to the 30th of this month. So I'll see you all next time for another episode here on my channel. Bye.